So I wanted to talk about Reed Dallas. He's been on a run recent this year. Like Reed Dallas versus Big K, Reed Dallas versus It Will, Reed Dallas versus A Ward just dropped. Like, yo. And the thing is, this is what we've been saying about Reed Dallas since his return to battle rap in 2014. He's been getting better. 14, 15, I don't remember. But he's been getting better. Every battle, just about. And I could honestly say he's found his comfort zone of how he wants to rap. And maybe it's the setting, maybe it's the small settings that he's been rapping in. You know, Big K, Ill Will. Yo, Big K pulled a fucking phone out. That's an automatic loss for me. Uh, Ill Will, he did very well against Ill Will. I, I think he was a little better. Um, And A Ward. You see, the thing that people do when they're battling these super known legends, I mean, household name legends. They say the same exact material against them. How many times, like, put up Loaded Lux battles since Hollow to Die. They all saying the same shit about him. Everybody, it's the same blueprint over and over again. Tay Rock, same way. Surf, same way. Uh, fucking, even battling Hollow, same thing. Reed Dollars is one of them household name legends that they just keep saying the same exact material. Oh, your bars ain't that crazy, or this, or your legacy. You only talk about your legacy. It's like, but y'all all, it's like you don't know what to say. So eventually y'all go to the read flips. And it's cool, but then he do read flips, and he be having good read flips. I think he's been winning a lot with a lot of legacy material. And he still, to me, hasn't reached the peak of what he could say with his legacy. Like, Maybe he hasn't said it to the right person yet. Maybe he has. Because that murder mook battle, he definitely got off some crazy legacy material that was like, yeah, bro. He is kind of one of the bricks of this battle, acapella battle rap, period. Um, The last 20 years, like Reed Dollars literally has elevated every time you've seen him on stage. Well, every time we've seen him battle, he's kind of elevated. So, I'm just ready to see where he can go from here. Like, And I think people should start considering him way bigger than what he actually is considered right now in the battle rap world. We say we respect him, but then y'all always try to talk about him like he's like this learning guy. The man been proved that he could stay with this generation. He's been consistent also. And he's put on high-level performances. It's like, I think now it's just hating at this point. Y'all really don't be trying to shed a light on Reed Dallas, even when he's doing good. And really, ever since that little, that Myrtle Mook thing, like, niggas seem like they want to shadow ban him or some bullshit. I think that shit whack. Like, y'all sit around and talk about money that y'all don't have nothing to do with. Y'all talk about everything else in battle rap except... The things that matter, and it's plenty of things. But yeah, Reed Dollars need to really be looked at as one of these kings in battle rap. God tier, legend tier, all of those tiers, top tier. Yeah, bro, he's not only, he sold tickets. He's one of the biggest names on any card he's on. And he's he draws in the most, some of the most interest when he is on having a major event. And he's on there. They damn near sell the whole card around Reed Dollars. And we act like that's not the case. Anyway, man. Yeah. The last couple battles, I got Reed winning. And I just think he needs to be appreciated more. That's all I got to say.